Hey everyone, we're back in the woods here. I was thinking of doing two different styles of bushcraft shelter, and then I decided to do neither when I stumbled upon this. Pretty much set up for me already. What my plan is to do is cut down the sides and then make walls on either side, have a little trench down here. It should work out. So I know it doesn't look like much right now. Just give it a few more minutes. So as you guys saw, shelter isn't completely airtight. Mind you, it's only a bunch of branches, so it'll never be. But there's also no snow tonight, so these gaps you're seeing here, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. And I've already decided once I get in there, I am not getting out until morning. So the plan was to cut both of those, but 
think I'm gonna have enough with just one. Sorry, I'm not trying to try not to hit any trees behind me. I should have enough with just one, and there's a bunch of other sticks lying around right where I am, so shouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah, we got this chopped up. I'll go with the other half. And we'll probably make dinner at that point. Maybe a beer, actually, beer first probably. All right, so I got a fire going a bit earlier than I expected. Temperature started to drop a bit, so I figured to get that going first. Now I'll get my meal going. I'll try to show you guys this time as I go. This is my Tokes 750. It's, I find it's the perfect size for either a beer, a coffee, a soup, or a small meal. And it fits, fits everything in there. So here I have an egg. I have my little stove here, which I'll try for the first time. I have a pack of instant soup already thrown in there. Show you the stove. It's meant to use with those little, those little white pellets or tabs. I'm not really sure what they're, what they are. So I'll throw two of them there. Two worked last time. I don't know if two is necessary, but I don't really care to start over. We have the soup. Hoping this doesn't fall over. I have a bad habit of putting my kettle on the fire with snow all over it and it just douses the fire. So before that gets just boiling on the bottom, put in some water. You just eyeball it. I really don't know. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. There we go, that was a bit more than I expected, but that'll be fine. And I have here, I can't really see through them, but I have some chopped up cilantro, which is frozen right now. <laughs> yeah, it actually is frozen. Throw that in there. One piece fell on the ground. Throw that too, and I have some green onion in the other one. I've learned the hard way that these are not spill proof. So I put olive oil, butter, stuff like that, and it'll melt and just, yeah, find its way into everything else. Typically put my food into dry bags when I can, because I almost always have something spill over. 
Oh, there's some more. Almost always have something spill over. I'll wait till that gets a bit more warm or boiling and then I'll throw in the egg. And yeah, that's one of my go-to meals. It's easy. It's not the most calorie dense things. It's easy. It's warm. It tastes good. So you, you'll see me eating this often just because it's so simple. There we go. Just see if we push that down in there. All right. Oh, and also now that the sharp tools are away, time to open the beer. Where is that? Here we go. So today it's Coda Cook New England IPA. Coda Cook, it's a town. Well, here you go. It's a town in the east. They make great ice cream, make great beer too. The brewery and the whatever makes ice cream, I'm not sure what the what's the ice cream shop called. Anyway, they are right across the street from each other. And if, so, if you're ever in the area, honestly, we're trying both. And there's a really good hike. I think it's 20 minutes away. I can't remember the name of it right now, but there's a really good hike that's worth doing. If, if you're into hiking and you're in the area, it's worth doing. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Alright everyone, I'm gonna finish this beer. I'm actually holding it with two hot hand packs. I put my gloves aside to dry and they just completely froze. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna stoke the fire and just relax for the rest of the night. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll probably do hot tenting next time. Now that I said it, I kinda have to. But yeah, with it being minus five, minus 10, I think it'd be what, nice weather to do that before it starts getting too warm. So cheers everyone, thanks again, see you next time.